Hey guys, welcome back to Lily Pine Stables. Today I'm going to be riding Delilah and Mick on the jumping course over here. Um, so you can see how they go. Um, before we get started though, I'd like to just say that my texture pack is now complete and it's available, so that'll be the first link in the description. Um, and I've decided to price it at five US dollars instead of six. Okay, um, so let's grab Delilah out of her stall. Okay, so I have sorted out all of the horses with like their blanket color and their saddle pad color. So Delilah has oh here we go. The whole <laughs> um, Delilah has a blue saddle blanket and a dark blue cover as requested by her owner. But I will only put their covers on when I put them out in the paddocks. Oh, let's grab her bri Oh no, I've already got a bridle. That's cool. Okay. Oh, and I've got a gate on me because I accidentally broke one before, so <laughs> that happened. Um, okay. So let's tack her up. Okay, so I'm going to start off by just doing a lap around the arena of warm-up. And we'll try. And we'll come around and we'll begin the course. She's very fast for this course. Okay, there we go. I've touched two jumps, I think. Let's go back to a trot. I really want to build like an outdoor show jumping course that's a little bit bigger than this and that's on like a grass arena because I think that would be quite cool to have multiple courses here so I'm not just doing the same one each video Ooh. okay and we'll walk her back And we'll pop her back in her stall and then we will go get mixed tech. Wait, 
back here, so just need one of them and one of these. Oh, actually, they both don't need to exist. <laughs> Okay, now next tack box is here, and we'll grab all of his stuff. Um, and so Mick has a light blue cover and a red saddle blanket. So we'll grab him out, and his stats are quite different from Delilah's, so this is going to be a bit of a change. Um, I'll show you. He's got... he's a lot slower than Delilah and has a little bit less jump than Delilah. Okay, let's tack up. Okay, and I'll walk around for a lap. Also, I'm getting a lot of comments asking about what the like plugin or mod is that I use to see the horse stats. Um, it is a plugin which I can link below, I think I will, and I believe it's called something like Horse Inspector and basically it's just that you can like hit the horse with a stick and it gives you their stats in chat, which is quite handy. So now I'm trotting. He's a lot slower than Tyler. <laughs> and we'll canter. His speed is a bit more suitable for this course, I think, which is good. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no. Oh, um, I think honestly I'm just gonna restart. <laughs> that was atrocious. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Let's try this again. That is better. Okay, he touched that one. That's okay. At least he jumped it. Oh, and now the triple. Okay, we touch that middle one. That's okay. Oh, we touch that one too. Okay. <laughs> I think we touched three or four of the fences. That's okay. <laughs> He's like the complete opposite of Delilah. <laughs> More of like a hunter pony than a show jumper. And we'll try. And walk. And we'll take him back to his stall. Oh wait, 
wait, what am I doing? Oh my god. No, come back. <laughs> Need to take your tap off. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I know a lot of you have been commenting saying that you want your horse to also be let be added to Lily Pine. And um what I'm gonna do before I take any more of those requests is I'm gonna build another stable here so that we've got more space because <laughs> I would like to add like as many horses as possible like from you guys but then I also want to breed some too because I've got this um, breeding plugin on here which enables you to be able to get like higher stats than the parent horse so you can get above natural stats if you breed if you keep breeding like good horses and then taking their best foals and breeding them. So I quite like to play around with that. Okay, so Mick is back in the store. We'll put his tack back in his tack box. Okay, and we don't need that. Um, okay, before I finish off this video, I would also like to show you guys that um, I have named the Fjord horses. So over here we have the Brunblack Fjord, and his name was suggested by Taylor Kula. So I've chosen Melon, which I thought was quite funny. <laughs> so yeah. That is Melon. Um, he is a male. And then the other one over here, the Gull Black Fjord, is a female. So I've named her Amira, which is um, which was suggested by Cynthia Ravenberg. So thank you guys for those name suggestions. I know a lot of you guys suggested names. And I had a pretty tough time choosing, but I've settled on Melon and Amira. So there you go. Um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.